Today's Autodesk lesson is about unposting. Unposting is the reversal of a proven post. It's basically you made a little mistake and you want to correct it or you overlooked something. Let's, let's call it like that. Uh, let's, I'm going to first show you the most obvious way, the most easiest way of doing a regular uh, unposting. And that is when you go into the approved post, you end up in the invoicing items to invoice. I think I've already shown that in another video on how to uh, void an invoice. But if you're still in the process of doing your uh, approved post and you're about to invoice, then you're in this particular section. You have items to invoice. There's a couple of line items over here. But you realize, oh, the 0.5, that should not have been 0.5. That should have been an hour. So you kind of need to reverse this one. What do you all do? You just select this particular line item and you go to uh, preview or process invoices. In this case, we can just say uh, preview invoices. That will bring up the, the most common screen, which you know that has the, the preview of the invoice. And there's the button of unpost. You press the button unpost. It will say a little message saying you're about to unpost all items and delete any adjustments. Do you wish to continue? And you say yes. And like I said, what it will do, it will unpost these particular items and bring it back into your approve and post section. Close the screen, press search. And as you can see over here, that particular line item is now gone. Now we can go, go back to approve and post. To the labor, it was able manufacturing. We're going to make the date range a little bit bigger. And then it should pop up that particular uh, time entry that we did. And I believe it was the last one. As you can see over here, now we have more, uh, more in here as well. And now from here, you can uh, correct that particular entry and make it what you wanted to do. Now, there's also another section in approval or, uh, for unpost, and that's on the admin. So the person who uh, does need to perform unpost needs to have some admin rights in this particular section. It's on the contract and unposting. Luckily, it's clearly labeled here, and there's the section unpost. Once we get to this section, well, you will see it's very similar to the approved and post section. It has the same items here on top. And what you will do for labor, you kind of do the reverse way of what you do with approved and post. You select if it's a labor, you can select if it's a, uh, which company, uh, you can select the date range. You open up the date range, it will pop up with a whole bunch of items. Uh, see, most likely I also will need to open up this, uh, this post date too. Make sure we have everything. And there's a whole bunch of items that were uh, approved and post. And in this case, you can unpost it, even if it's not through an invoice, because that's the first example that we did. But it could also be against the contract that you applied something to a contract that you need to unpost because you want to bill it out. And this is the way how you do it. You basically, you kind of grab that labor by selecting which ones you want to do. And then you press the unpost button and it will say if you uh, are sure to unpost these billing items. An easy way here too on top is you can basically clear the filter values. Now it opens up everything. If we would press search, it would search everything. Again, not really recommended for opening up everything because now it has to search through the entire database and it might take you a little bit long. If you know exactly which company you're looking for, you have here the ability to select a particular company. If you know the work date, if you know the post date, that would make it easier. But sometimes you also know the ticket number and you can just copy the ticket number in here and then press search and then it will pop up that particular item that you need to unpost. Same applies if you do it in the charges section is again, it's by default, the charge and the post date are selected. So make sure you, you update both of those dates or select the button, clear filter values um, expenses, similar subscription, similar subscription is not the, the, the posting date besides the subscription date. So again, both similar clear filter values. Recurring contracts works the same and the milestones you have here as well. Once you did the unposting, you can go back to your regular approve and post, which is over here. And then you can look up the particular item that you did, make the proper corrections. Maybe it's a ticket that you don't want to have the, the contract apply to. So from here, from the approve and post, you will go back to that section. You will open up the ticket and then you can change the contract and then it will show up in the proper uh, way. Well, I hope that this makes sense on the unposting. Basically, a good way of easily undoing uh, a mistake that was made. And if you have any more questions, please visit our Facebook uh, group. Put some comments over there and we'll get back to you. Thank you.